June 24, 2020 was a usual summer day. On that day, in the United States there was an unusual piece of news that made news headlines. The U.S. court in San Francisco suddenly issued an arrest warrant, putting three Chinese on the wanted list. The news was like a heavy bomb, sparking widespread concern and controversy. Who is he and why is he wanted by the U.S. government worldwide? In fact, after the start of the Sino-U.S. technology war, a large number of leading companies and figures in the technology industry were sanctioned by the United States. There was a joke in the Chinese technology industry, if you have not been sanctioned by the United States, you can say that you have the real core technology. However, compared to what happened to him, the treatment of other scientists sanctioned by the United States seemed to suddenly become worthless. Because the sanction items suffered by others are at most restricting entry and freezing property, but he was directly issued a wanted order by the San Francisco court in the United States in the absence of the court. Who the hell is he? What did he do to make the US court directly issue a wanted order, and how should he face this crisis? And what about him now? Okay, welcome to my channel, let's watch today's video together. After the Sino-US trade war and technology war unfolded one after another, China's chip and semiconductor industry, which is heavily restricted by the United States, has instantly become the focus of everyone's attention. In the chip semiconductor industry, in addition to the well-known computing chips such as CPU and GPU, the most important thing is the memory chip. After all, data cannot be utilized if it is not stored, so if you want to break through chip technology, you must not only overcome the computing chip technology as the brain, but also make breakthroughs in the memory chip industry. Since the memory chip industry was born in the late 1960s, it has undergone several reshuffles and finally formed the current industrial structure of the United States, Japan, and South Korea. South Korea's Samsung, SK Hynix and the United States Micron currently hold the largest market share in the DRAM memory chip industry. After years of technology accumulation, the three giants have built insurmountable moats through various patent barriers, and in this way prevent latecomers from competing with themselves for the market. In order to break through the patent blockade of the United States, Japan, South Korea, and other countries in the DRAM industry. In May 2016, Chinese startup company Fujian Jinhua JIC, signed a cooperative research and development agreement with Taiwan Lianhua, UMC. The two parties adopted the method of Lianhua sending people to Jinhua to pay for the joint research and development of DARM technology, and the person in charge of this joint research and development project is the chip industry leader, we mentioned at the beginning of the video, Chen Jingkuan. As the lead person of the cooperative R&D project between Fujian Jinhua and Taiwan's UMC, Chen Jinkuan has a brilliant resume in the DARM industry and is known as Taiwan's DRAM expert. Before the outbreak of the financial crisis in 2008, Chen Jinkuan had been running his own company, Rexchip Electronic Technology, which was acquired by the US storage giant Micron in 2013. At that time, Micron appointed Chen Jinkuan as president of its subsidiary MMT. After two years at MMT, Chen jumped ship in 2015 to join Taiwan's veteran semiconductor company UMC as vice president, presiding over the DARM business. At the same time, in 2016, China established three storage chip production and research and development companies. They are known as China's storage three giants, respectively, Wuhan's Yangtze River Storage, Hefei's Changshan Storage, as well as Chuanzhou's Fujian Jinhua, JIC. Among them, Fujian Jinhua, which is quite powerful and well capitalized, cooperated with UMC in order to improve its independent research and development technology, and invited Chen to serve as its general manager, responsible for the R&D coordination of DRAM. Thus, in February 2017, Chen Jinkuan arrived at Quanju Jinhua and gladly arrived at his post. In this way, Chen Jinkuan walked step by step to the opposite of his old boss, Micron. He led Jinhua to continue to focus on the production of DRAM chip products, with a total investment of 37 billion yuan, which is scheduled to be officially put into production in September 2018. It is estimated that by the end of 2019, the first phase project will be able to produce 60,000 12-inch wafers per month, and the second phase project will also be launched, with a total production capacity of 240,000 wafers. With the smooth progress of the joint project between UMC and Jinhua, 
scientific research results have been released one after another. If the project continues to go smoothly, Chinese-made DRAM will soon be put into production to break the foreign blockade. Seeing the technology moat was broken, Chen Jinkuan's old boss Micron gradually perceived the threat is approaching. One day in September 2017, Micron suddenly issued a statement. An employee who jumped from Micron to United Microelectronics, UMC, stole Micron's DRAM intellectual property rights, and was suspected of leaking the core technology to UMC to help it develop 32 nanometers DRAM. By December, Micron formally sued Jinhua and UMC in California federal court, accusing the two companies of infringing on its intellectual property and stealing trade secrets. In the lawsuit documents, Micron claimed that at its Taiwan company, it identified departing employees who downloaded the company's technical secrets and used data erasure programs, which were then given to Jinhua, through UMC. The departing employees mentioned in the document were three people, including Chen Jinkuan and two engineers who jumped from Micron to UMC. Involved in the case, Chen and Jinhua indignation and helplessness in the court of law to argue, denying the charges of magnesium lights accusations. Meanwhile, after investigation and evidence, Jinhua chose to fight back. On January 19, 2018, Jinhua filed a lawsuit in the Fuzhou Intermediate People's Court, accusing Micron of more than 10 types of solid-state drives and notebook memory sticks, all allegedly infringing on Jinhua's patent rights, and demanding compensation of 196 million yuan from Micron. On July 3, 2018, after a first-instance judgment was issued by the Fuzhou Court, Micron Semiconductor Sales, Shanghai, company was required to immediately stop the sale and importation of more than a dozen infringing products, and was ordered to take down its advertising campaigns and purchase links. But how can Micron, which has already made up its mind to kill Jinhua, be willing to stop here? On October 19, 2018, when Chen entered Taiwan Daoyuan Airport, he received a subpoena. When he opened it, it turned out to be a subpoena issued by a U.S. federal court entrusted by the U.S. Department of Justice by an official from Taiwan's Ministry of Justice. On October 30 of the same year, the U.S. Department of Commerce issued an announcement, claiming that Fujian Jinhua's development in DRAM may have been obtained on the basis of embezzlement of U.S. technology, which seriously threatened the long-term survival of basic U.S. military system suppliers. Ability Therefore, the U.S. must include Jinhua in the entity list and impose export controls on it. Under pressure from the U.S. government, the three major U.S.-based semiconductor suppliers cooperating with Jinhua had to withdraw from Jinhua's factories on the day the ban was implemented and related production lines had to be suspended. Taiwan's UMC finally couldn't stand the pressure anymore and announced the temporary suspension of cooperation with Jinhua. In October 2020, it also admitted Micron's accusation of stealing technical secrets, agreed to pay a fine of 60 million US dollars, and agreed to cooperate. The United States is investigating the former close partner Jinhua. For the US side of the unreasonable accusations, Chen did not personally go to Los Angeles to participate in the trial, but asked a lawyer to fight for themselves. The U.S. federal court in Los Angeles took the opportunity to Chen refuse to appear in court as the reason for the issuance of a warrant. See here, I think a lot of people want to ask a question, that is, Micron has been accused of Chen and Jin who a theft of Micron confidentiality is really true. What we know so far is that in November 2021, UMC chose to settle with Micron and paid the related settlement money, previously. UMC had pleaded guilty to a charge in the United States and was fined $60 million. As for Jinhua, in fact, the US government could not find any evidence of Jinhua stealing secrets in the relevant documents of UMC. In April 2022, according to Jinhua's defense lawyer, since there is not enough evidence to prove that Jinhua knew or planned to steal Micron's secrets together with UMC, Jinhua will apply for acquittal and request the US Department of Commerce to remove it from the entity list. Therefore, whether this accusation is true or not can only be left to the audience friends to judge for themselves. After this battle, Jinhua, whose vitality was severely injured, fell into a stagnation for a while, and seemed to disappear from people's sight, and there was no news at all. What about his current situation? On January 8, 2021, the official website of the Fujian Provincial Department of Industry and Information Technology released a news about 
high-tech manufacturing. In the article, people suddenly saw the long-lost word, Jinhua. Quan Ju Jinhua successfully developed 25 nanometers memory chips with independent intellectual property rights, and trial production in small batches. The relevant announcement on Jinhua's official website shows that due to the blow, it is difficult to mass-produce on a large scale, and some warehouses are vacant, so they can only choose to rent out but it has been struggling to survive. The international memory chip market has Samsung, SK Hynix, Micron 3 Giants Tripod. China's memory chip industry also has Jinhua, Yangtze River, Changchun to catch up. With the domestic storage chip product technology level and production capacity continues to improve, Chinese enterprises and consumers have slowly realized the tangible benefits and dividends. Has always been high on the overseas giants in order to maintain market share has also been forced to constantly adjust the price of the product. In any case, China's chip semiconductor industry in terms of technology is still with foreign advanced giants there is an objective gap, but in Chen Zhengkuan as the representative of the Chinese chip people's unremitting efforts and nourished by the huge domestic market, I believe that has always been adhering to the principle of openness and sharing of China's science and technology industry, will ultimately be welcomed by the world in the near future. Well, that's it for today's sharing, see you in the next video.